Yeah, how about you? Everything go okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's uh, opening weekend of muzzleloader season, but as you can see, we're not hunting. We're behind. Uh, this is going to be part three of that. those other two videos we did. But anyway, we got four things we're going to do. We're going to get out here by 12. We got to mow everything, weed eat. We got to dig the outhouse hole. If you follow my channel and watch the other videos, you know that we didn't uh, do that. So we're going to do that. We got a load of firewood I'll show you in a minute. We're going to load it, tar fit. Uh, what else? Yeah, Jerry brought some wood for the water barrel. We got to fill it up, brace it up. One other thing I'm missing, what are we talking about? You're going to put out corn in the camera corn. and then what else? Corn and cameras. Oh. Outhouse, cut grass, water barrel, wood. Yeah, that's it, the four things. So y'all stay tuned. That'll be fun. I was just surveying the damage and uh, that tarp ain't but four months old and the, rent, the wind already got it and ripped it off. <laughs> Lucky me, right? So I got to deal with that, but unbelievable. It was a $60 tarp, I think, at Walmart, but still heavy grade. I didn't expect it to last forever, but I thought it'd do better in four months. This truck here, in case you're wondering, this is another member. His name is Junior, so he's down here muzzleloader hunting, I'm sure. Even then, doing that, you nick yourself on something. Oh, no, I nick my thumb <laughs> real good. Stupid. Oh, that thing, I wouldn't expect it to do that. I was just going to pull the thing and you put it back in there. Yeah, in a minute, I will. Wait.
You're going to have to watch this front end when you get around humps. You'll dig it. You're clear on that left side. You can come straight forward and go back then. All right, straighten up. Try to... Oh yeah, you gotta come up because it's not level, right? Yeah. Hey, go ahead. More wood. Let's see what I Actually, I like this kind of that, You do? What we did is we leaned it. We got it leaning towards the front a little bit where it sloped with the water run off the top. Yeah, my tarp took a beating and blew off. So this time we done it different. He, he normally gets it in there with his truck. We don't have a lot of room. We tried it with a four-wheeler, so it wasn't too bad. We had to kind of finagle it in and there and out of there. What makes it hard is uh, my camper right here sticks out far enough so whenever you try to make this turn right here and come in here, you, you got to clear this. That's what makes it bad. Tools out of my truck like a hammer or anything. Uh, that's what I was looking for. You tell what type of screws those are? Uh, uh, I can't without reading glasses. <laughs> I think they're uh, Phillips, but I don't know. It might be de deck screw. Right here. Oh, no. oh, there's Sarah. When we need to get like a claw hammer or. All right, come back. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, good. Don't seem like it's doing a whole lot, but I guess it is. I'm throw a short one in there and just bury it. I guess the wood's so yes. punky or something. Yeah, it is. screws is what I need now. Well, you bought it. Just, just happened to have that in there. That's what I was saying. I forgot everything. Ready? 
reckon that's gonna be solid enough. I guess it will. It's a lot better than it was. First, what? I think we're good. That's a little funnel. I got that big funnel. Well, I mean, I know I didn't track your camper up or whatever, though. I got it. I know, I just, you just hold that funnel. That's good. It's get that good flow. I should have started off my hand underneath on that back side, I didn't. It's definitely a bigger funnel in it. Oh, yeah. You mm. really pour it to it on that one. You don't have to waste it. I'm trying time. not to splash it. I can smell the bleach. You do it in every one of them or just all of them? Just this one. Big splash of it in this Try one. not to splash it all up. We wind up putting uh, six barrels, which is 30 gallons. This is a 50 gallon drum. It didn't fill it up all the way, but we got it probably three quarters anyway. We basically replaced that piece of wood and that one. We built this frame, shoot, I don't know, 13, 14 years ago. And it's kind of, it's pressure treated, but it's seen better days. We need to bring some screws back down here and kind of reinforce it, but it'll work. Got a little platform. So we're we're good to start anyway. It's popping loose now a little bit. Oh, there you go. Yeah, keep your mouth closed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't want none of that, do you? <laughs> no. Now it ain't bad though. It's all season, you know. So there's nothing in it right now. So we're season. good. It's compost. I know. It. That's what compost does. Yeah, it'll make all it. All right, clean that out, and I'll hit it again. Yeah. There we go. I'm always leery with a mallet, that point on the other end, it always scares me, you know, like it's gonna come back and get you. Well, clean that out and we'll do her again. Swing dirt all over the camera. <laughs> it does have some air pockets in there, but where it's composting. Crazy to me that it got that packed. Why not? Hit it one more time right here. We're wrapping this up. How deep are we here, Jared? Pretty deep. Yeah. Shovel, yeah. we're about yeah. right there, so solid two and a half, maybe 28, 30 inches. Yep. I hear you. Well, that's gonna work this time. Next time we're gonna get an auger attachment for the tractor, but we're good to go for several years or whatever, no biggie. Now we've got to slide this outhouse back here on this, on the our little 
foundation, but we did it with the tractor originally. Now we got to do it with the four wheeler, so we're gonna see how it goes. Back the other way now. All right, now we're fixing to take a nosedive, so hang on. Right there? Uh, now it's not good at all. Well, I know, I'm just saying that's half and half, so if you bump no, your... I mean, I'm looking right here. Okay. Look back here. We need to come back. back now, let me check it right here. Yeah, we're leaning back, but we can... Uh, I don't know why we're leaning back. We can scotch it. That's pretty good. Come take a look. Yeah, let me try to figure out why it's going to be perfect for that one. Now you said it down for a second. Let me walk by here. All right, set it down. See what it'll do. No, it's wobbling on that side. bad. No, I did it. Pretty solid. That solid it up. It just... Yeah, it took that board out of there. How did that... I'll show y'all the weeks. little walk around. So we... Took these little five quarter boards and uh, put it on the back and leveled it up. This whole thing, here's the back view of the hole down in there. This whole thing's sitting on cap blocks. And then we dug a hole, like we said a while ago, probably two and a half feet or so. And I'll give y'all a run on the inside to let you see what it looks like the hole. Open it up, Jerry. So, see if I can do this without dropping everything in here. There she blows. Freshly dug hole. That's a leaf in there too for you people who are wondering what that is. <laughs> Nobody's witting there yet, but it'll be interesting to see who christens in this thing first. All right, another project done. Made it all the way over there, huh?
They're eating it up. Oh God, they dug a whole branch. That we just laid that on the ground. It wasn't a hole. Yeah, there you go. When do we put that out? I put, I got them what, uh, two weeks ago? Yeah, that's what they did in two weeks with that stuff. I'll let you put it in the feeder and I'll spread. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna spread it out. Yeah, the same deer, Jared. You're gonna see the same deer. right on the feeder if that's where you want it. Yeah, I mean. It's right on the money. All right, does it look like it's angled? Angled right. Ah. Am I too high? It's like this, look at me. The bottom needs to be like that, just a touch. Easy, right there, that's good. Right yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, I'm more worried about the angle. I think yeah, I can't, do, I can't tell that until I get on there. If I was you, I'd swing his a little better to make it. I was gonna keep that since I gotta take it my step. It doesn't matter, we'll do yeah. it. Either way, we're going there, right?
All right, guys and gals, that's going to wrap up part three of the uh, camp cleanup and how you get deer camp ready for the 2023 season. So this is today, Saturday, uh, October 14th. It's opening day of muzzleloader season. So we missed it, but we don't care. We got a lot of stuff done. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope everybody has a great week. Good luck to everybody that goes uh, hunting this uh, coming weekend on opening weekend. Gun season in Georgia, which will be the 21st. God bless each and everybody out there. And this is Trick and L saying so long, everybody, from the Peach State of Georgia.